Is it just me or could CV be the next big thing? With the release of his latest single Lifestyle, I wanted to take a trip down memory lane and have a look at his behind the scenes of his hood bars while also dropping some nuggets of info that I've gotten to learn from him over the last couple of years. CV and I share a history that goes well beyond the superficial connections of the music industry. We go way back. I mean like 2019 way back. I mean the third ever music video I shot way back. So when he landed this opportunity with hood bars I couldn't help but feel a surge of pride. It was more than just another milestone for CV. It was a testament to his dedication and his perseverance. Just like me, he he made a start in this game five years ago and I'm glad I was at the right place at the right time because not only have I been able to see him grow Australia wide but he's been able to get global recognition. Offside was the first track he ever released and he was just the feature on that track and it went viral. It was nothing you could have planned. It did 3.8 million streams just on Spotify. It's sitting at almost 700,000 views on YouTube. These are numbers that as a beginner just blow your mind and think that you've got the world in your hands. But it wasn't just the music that set CV apart, it was his authenticity. He stayed true to his roots, he infused his personal experiences into his lyrics. He infused genuine emotion and sincerity that resonated with audiences. This is what drew them in and created a fan base that spans continents. As I reminisce about Offside, it's impossible to ignore the reality that despite the success of the track, as far as I'm aware, CV never saw a cent from any of it. And unfortunately, this seems to be a common theme within the music industry. You know, young artists just trying to make a name for themselves, up and comers, just getting absolutely rooted of money. But despite the lack of monetary reward, CV has remained undeterred. He continues to pour his energy into music, not with the promises of riches, but for a genuine love of the art form. And while financial struggles are definitely discouraging, it only fuels his determination to win and succeed on his own terms. Now, as CV continues to rise with releases such as Lifestyle and, and more to come, it serves as a reminder of resilience in the face of adversity. He may not have seen a cent from offside, but he gained something far more valuable. The experience and the wisdom to navigate the treacherous waters of the music industry and emerge even stronger. As he looks towards the future, CB is determined to ensure that his hard work and his talent are duly rewarded. Proving that success isn't measured in dollars and cents, but the impact he can have on the scene around him. So now if you want to check out Lifestyle or his hood bars, you can click in the annotations or the description below. Now let's jump into the behind the scenes. So today we're out here in the middle of the home turf of CV, beautiful, beautiful Frankston. Joined by Dom C. Ben, myself and Blacklisted Visions, we're just getting set up for the shoot ahead. Blacklisted Visions and I have been a part of the four hood bars shot in Melbourne, so it's always a pleasure working with Dom. For this shoot, just like many hood bars we've done before, we're gonna go for the simple yet iconic dual lighting uh, setup of the Nanlite 30X Pavo tubes, along with one just above the head as well as a bit of a key light. The main camera for today is either a Canon C200 or C300, I can't quite remember but even I get jealous, it's an absolute beast of a camera. I even think that plays a part into the iconic look of hood bars. One of my favourite things about working with CV and having a relationship like ours for so long across all of these different projects is like we can just absolutely be fucking stupid with each other. I think what makes Hood Bars special is it's like the heartbeat of the music culture, you know? It's where artists go to really let loose and show off their skills in the purest of forms. Imagine being in a room where only the vibe is electric and the only thing that matters is the music and the words being spit. That's Hood Bars. But it's not just about showcasing talent, it's about bringing people together. It's a melting pot of different styles and sounds and voices and stories. You have artists from all walks of life, like from underground artists to chart toppers, all sharing the same stage, all vibing off each other's energy. And let's not forget the fans. Hood Bars gives them a front row seat to witness the magic as it happens. It's like being invited to the artist's world just for a few minutes and getting a glimpse of their raw creativity and passion. But most importantly, Hood Bars is a platform for the culture. It's about preserving the essence of hip hop and urban music while also pushing the boundaries, exploring new sounds. It's a celebration of where we've been and where we're going to. So yeah, Hood Bars isn't just important for the music culture, it's essential. It's a place where artists can shine, fans can connect, the culture can thrive, and that's something truly special. Now, it wouldn't be a normal CV shoot if there wasn't a little bit of drama in the air. So right as we're going for the first take, some Frankston hooligans show up and decide that they want to run amok a little bit. 
So say the camera's right here. Do you want to step there for one second? I'll show you. So when the camera is facing this way, yeah. if you can give it a little tilt, just a little bit this All way, right. so I'm able to see a little bit of your yeah. mouth when you're doing it too. You just and told it, me like yeah, yeah. Just and the best thing that I've found with like actual engagement mm. when people when I make it into reels and different stuff is eye contact with the camera. So when you're when you're like wrapping through it, if you make eye contact with the camera, oh, oh, sorry, that no. breaks the boat. Straight <laughs> work. Baden Fuel Bro, bitch! Mrs. Frankston. Fucking hell. Welcome to Frankston, I'm in a party with Barbie and the drill. <laughs> One of my favourite things about CB's approach to hood bars was his genius decision to bring some flair and style by rapping from A to Z. Morning, got so much that my tank's on E. Long time friend, that I give no F. You'll still get ripped because I run with G's. Got taste by my name and age. Ha, still try to fill my plate. All I see is money and green. I don't do no cones, but I smoke these J's. It might seem like a quirky party trick at first glance, but it's actually a massive showcase of serious skill. First off, you gotta keep the flow smooth and tight. You can't just throw random words together and call it a verse. It's like solving a linguistic puzzle on the fly. Finding words that not only fit the rhyme scheme, but also make sense in the context of what you're rapping about. Then there's the sheer mental gymnastics of it all. You're not just thinking about what to say next, you're also thinking about what letter comes after the one you've just used, and it's like juggling multiple balls in the air while keeping the beat going. And let's not forget about the breath control. Rapping is already physically demanding, but when you're trying to cram in a bunch of words that start off with different letters, it's like running a linguistic marathon. You gotta make every breath count or you'll run out of steam before you reach the finish line. So yeah, rapping from A to Z isn't just a cool party trick. It's a testament to the artist's creativity, dexterity, and mastery of the craft. It's like watching a wordsmith weave magic with nothing but his words and the beat. Pretty damn impressive if you ask me. Now it wouldn't be a normal Hood Bars video if we didn't have some random people come up off the street and become instant fans. As we wrap up the shoot, everyone's super excited about how it's been going all night. And if you've seen the final product, you know Dom absolutely delivered. I'm so proud of my boy CB, so I'll let him end it from here. How we feeling? Feeling good. Just wrapped up our hood bars. I reckon we fucking killed it, children. Let's go! If you want to see more content like this, you can follow me on my Instagram or you can subscribe to the channel where I'll be doing more breakdowns, more lighting plans, more behind the scenes videos, really going in depth on what it takes to be a creative in the Australian music industry. Can't wait to see you back at the next video, so subscribe and I'll catch you then.